Growing up in a Puerto Rican home, we also had to have beef stew. So let's get to it. I have here two pounds of chuck beef. It is washed in vinegar and water. I left some of the vinegar in the bottom. And then I cut it down to the desired size that I would want it. Um, and then here you see me seasoning, adding all the you know delicious spices and make it it's gonna make it taste really really good. This is step one of seasoning. These are not the only seasonings that I will be using further on in the video. You will see that I will add more ingredients to it. Now, as far as the sasson packet there, if you prefer to make your own sasson, you can also use your own sasson or you can just use the packet. And um, you can go ahead and use gloves, which uh, would be easier because <laughs> you're gonna have all that color on your hands and all your beautiful nails for those the nail ladies, <laughs> okay? So yeah, here we are. Okay, next I have a pot here. Uh, the bottom is coated with achote oil and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin to fry the meat a little bit Just to get a sear on all the sides. I'm going to be turning it and everything. It's going to take a little bit of time um, Sometime it's not going to happen right away, but make sure your pot is hot. Okay um, Because I have you know two pounds of beef here. Okay as uh, once it's done uh, You see me taking it out and transferring it back to that same um that same bowl where I had the meat previously, okay? Okay, as you can see, I still have the liquid from previous early, from earlier. And the reason why is because all of that is gonna give it flavor, you know, to the, the broth that we're going to make out of it, okay? And on the side, you're gonna see that I have some ingredients already ready, which is a fresh garlic pure um, paste. I, uh, I also have tomato paste, so, but we're starting off with the sofrito right here. And here we have your garlic paste. Next, we have a uh, tomato paste. Uh, you can um, swap this out for tomato sauce. Um, if you do, you would use a little bit more than, to, uh, more than what I'm using for tomato paste. Tomato paste is very thick. Um, and you would have to add water to it in order to turn it into a broth. So I, you can see I'm sauteing in here, releasing all those fragrant aromas that make the house smell all delicious. Like you've been slaving over that stove all day, but you actually haven't. <laughs> okay. Um, next, I believe what I have there is uh, my sasson that I'm adding. No, sorry guys. So we're adding the um, the beef back to it, you know, after you saute it for some time and you get the, you know, um, you get that nice fragrance and stuff. Here I am adding the water, okay? You need the water. And um, I'm adding enough water to cover the beef. Um, you may want to add more if you're using a pot like this. I added the bay leaf and also a beef a bouillon. Um, if you're using this pot, I would say you can add a little bit more water because you know you're gonna leave it there boiling for about an hour and a half to two hours. If not, uh, if you have, um, so you can see I added water there. If not, if you have a pressure cooker, then it'll take you less time, so you may not have to add um, that much water. I'm gonna cover it then again, an hour and a half to two hours. I promise you, your kitchen is going to be smelling lovely. Here we are. It's past the time. At this point, your meat should be just about tender, okay? And you can cook it to as tender as you would like it. At this point, you will test, uh, you will taste test to see if it has the amount of salt that you would like. And if not, just add a little bit more as you can see. Eh, it tastes a little salty to me, so I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. And here I have some pepper, my fancy pepper. <laughs> okay. And as you see, I still have the bay leaf there. I did not remove it. Give it a nice stir. A nice stir here. And give it another taste. See if it's to your liking. If it is, leave it. Go on ahead. And now I'm adding my potatoes, 
okay my potatoes your potatoes um you can cut them down to the size that you would like it some people cut them down smaller because they would like for the potato to to thicken the sauce i'm okay with it like this i'm also adding corn now corn is optional you don't have to add it um i'm adding some corn ears here you can also cut them in half if you would like to Ah, eh, i didn't want to go through that whole hassle of banging it down to, to get them smaller um i also have some herbs there some fresh herbs that i'm going to be adding here this is why you want to have enough of the sauce and you boil the corn there because that corn is going to soak up all of that flavor that delicious broth here i'm adding some i added some sprigs of cilantro and now i'm cutting down or breaking apart the um recao leaves okay some other people know it as culantro leaves okay and you're gonna leave it there for probably uh, um 15 to 20 minutes until the potatoes get very soft okay to the desired texture and this usually goes accompanied with um white rice um some people just eat it with uh like like if it was soup and they have just you know some nice italian bread they could dip into that broth um, you can also have avocado. I didn't have the avocado right here. Make sure you test your food. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.